Tonight, Governor Newsom has appointed the first ever Inspector General for BART. Harriet Richardson will serve as an independent overseer to hold BART management accountable for on time performance, safety, cleanliness, and efficient spending. Meanwhile, Andrea Borba tells us the feds are putting more than a billion dollars on the fast track to the Bay Area to make your Trans Bay commute more comfortable. Andrea? Well, Elizabeth, the goal is with this money to unclog the core of the BART system, those trains that go in and out of the Trans Bay tube, and hopefully relieve congestion a little for passengers and make the ride a little bit smoother. What's better than $300 million to improve BART? How about $300 million a year for four years for a grand total of $1.2 billion? The beleaguered and often cursed system got a grant from the federal government to improve core capacity, specifically through the Trans Bay Tube. It'll uh, take some pressure off that relationship between East and West Bay. The grant will fund four things. 306 new fleet of the future cars, a new train control system, expansion of the Hayward maintenance facility, and traction power. Overall, if you're a commuter, it's not going to be till 2026, uh, 2027 when this all works, but we'll have more trains going through the Trans Bay Tube and they'll be brand new trains. Those 306 new cars will be in addition to the 775 already coming online. The new train control system will allow 30 trains an hour to pass through the Trans Bay Tube, an increase from the current 23. It also means no more short trains through the tube. All of the trains that go through now with seven cars on them or six cars or eight cars, they'll now all be 10 car trains. It's relief to passengers who often find themselves wedged in to rush hour trains through the tube. Right now, between anywhere from four o'clock to six o'clock, it's rush hour. And the trains are packed, especially going out to Antioch, Richmond, all that area. So this will definitely help. Um, Hopefully they will pick up on the weekends as well. While others think there might be other priorities the transit agency needs to face first. Improve uh, fare evasion and uh, sanitation, you know, because it's you know, really messy compared to other uh, subway systems throughout the country. Now, right now, those fleet future cars are coming online at a rate of five or six per week. Those 306 from this latest grant, they will fully come online in 2026, but by then you'll have the rest of the cars on, and it will be all fleet future cars. Live at Embarcadero, Bart, Andrea Borba, KPIX 5.